Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to re-spool a spin cast fishing reel. Now one of the biggest things whenever you buy one of these combos here at the store, you want to go ahead and change that fishing line in the spool. Now, why would you change that line? Well, from personal experience, that line that's already in there is not very good, not very quality. I personally recommend trialing big game. Uh, I've had great experience with that. But, why change your line? It's good to spend about 10 extra dollars, maybe even 15, get some real quality line, especially when you're throwing five, six, even $10 fishing lures. Even when you got a big fish on the line, you don't want to have that in the back of your head thinking that my line's going to break. So, let's go ahead and get started, show you the steps in the process of getting the line changed. All right, the first thing you do is remove all the line from the reel. And after you do that, I'm going to pop off this piece here, right here, the top piece. And I'm going to show you this main component right here. You just push the button up. This white piece right here, it could be black depending on your reel. If you go past this little piece underneath your bell, you're going to have a problem. One, it's going to be hard to reel. Two, if you just leave it on there and decide to cast, you're going to have a mess and you're going to have a bad time out on the water. So if you do add it past this white piece, it's or black piece depending on your reel, take that line off there no big deal. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut my pole down a little bit. I'm going to take my line and you can add a pencil if you got someone with you. I got a vise, I'm doing this by myself or you can just lay it on the ground. But to have it stable is the biggest thing. So I'm going to add my line through my eyelet. See I broke it in half so I don't have to use all the eyelets. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the top and out the bottom of the reel. And I'm going to get a lot of line to play with. I got 1,700 yards on this spool. So I'm going to bring you down here and I'm going to show you the knot that I'm going to tie. Now you could do tie this knot if you're adding braid. Same concept. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go underneath the reel. All right. Now take my fingers and I'm going to make a loop. And then I am going to go three times around that loop. If I get started here, one, two, three. Okay. And then I just pull both ends, and it's going to tighten right up to that reel. Do the best you can, get as much of that tag piece off, clamp that down, throw that away, and add your lid. Now, just start reeling and adding line. Simple as that. Okay, periodically you want to check if you close your if you put the lid back on it, check to make sure you do not go past that white piece. Because you'll have a bad time. Okay, now the finished product of your reel. I'm just going to go ahead and pop this off and show you guys. When I push this up, you can see there's a little bit of space between that white part and all the new line I added. Just go ahead and add your cap on and you're ready to go. And guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and have a great time out on the water.